For 1037 The Game and 1037 thegamecom I'm Dave Schultz at Lampson Park where the Raging Cajuns rally Sunday night for 9-1 victory over Baylor in their second game of the day to move on to play Auburn in the Super Regionals next weekend. Raging Cajuns, after losing the first game 6-2, scratch across a couple of runs in the second inning to take an early 2-0 lead. And then Lexi Elkins set a new record with her 31st home run of the season for the Cajuns. And then for Lexi to get that number, it shows how special she is. But if she was sitting here, she would say it's because of her teammates around her. The kids that throw to her practice, kids that hit in front of her, behind her, the people who make her feel comfortable and push her. It's an individual thing, but it's not. Jordan Wall has set the tone early for the Cajuns, getting in and out of trouble to allow the Cajuns' bats to get going. Well, first I'm like, Coach Mike, come in. Coach Mike, come in. <laughs> um, but then, you know, I kind of switched my mind to, okay, uh, we got to refocus, and this game is you know, all or nothing, and just play free. And then our fans, how awesome are they? Stand behind us, and fight with us, they inspire us. Baylor starter Heather Stearns gave all she had as she was making her fourth start of the regional, but it just wasn't enough. I had the same mindset going into the second game I had the first game. Um, just calm, go at the hitters, hit my spots, let my defense work. Um, you know, I got, honestly, I hate to say it, but I got a little worn out out there um, towards the middle of the game. But going into the game, I had the main same mindset as I had first game. Uh, first and foremost, I'm very proud of her putting this team on her shoulders and carrying us all year. Having said that, I couldn't be more proud of the fight this team showed, uh, you know, in a very hostile environment. and. Um, uh, you know, it just they just really fought hard this whole weekend. I think we scored enough runs against her in order to win. Um, I think once you get to this level, there's really not like a bad pitcher, you know, and there's there's obviously going to be an ace. But we've seen her enough times, and we prepared enough this week in order to, you know, crack her. And I thought we did, and we scored five runs on her. And even if she wouldn't have come out and can continue to pitch, I think I still think we would have won. Armin, Armin is good, and. Having to go do it now in in front of them in a hostile environment presents a different kind of challenge, but we belong there. We've been there. We've been on hostile turf before. We know what's in front of us and we know that they're worthy, but we're worthy. And hopefully it's, it's a lot like what just went on here. That their fans are getting after us and it motivates us and that we stick together and we find a way, find a way to fight and compete and get it done. Raging Cajuns will take on Auburn in the Super Regional as the Tigers defeated South Alabama to win their own regional earlier in the day. Once again, your final score from Lampson Park, the Raging Cajuns defeat the Baylor Bears 9-1, win their regional, and move on to the Super Regionals. For 1037 The Game and 1037thegame.com, I'm Dave Schultz.